Hi, it's Mary from Solar Education Project. Today, we're going to show you how to set up, align, and cook in the All-American Sun Oven. So let's take a look at the parts of the Sun Oven. We're going to open it up and snap it. These are the reflectors. We're going to lift them and take a look inside the oven. This is your cook space. Open the transparent door and you can see it's all black to absorb the light. This is the oven rack and the nice feature about this oven is that once you attach the oven rack, whatever's in your oven will remain level. It's a leveling feature. Okay, so I'm going to close the door. Oh, it's also got a thermometer there to let you uh, see what the temperature is inside the oven. And I'm going to latch it shut with these two latches. And then the first thing I'm going to do is point it toward the sun and open up from behind I'm going to open up the reflective panels and this is what's going to collect the light into the cooking space. Okay, we're going to have to align the oven to the sun to get the most rays into the cooking space and also because uh, you don't want the uh, oven unaligned sitting out because the rays can go in directions uh, that you don't want them to go. So to do that, we've got a stand here and we simply bring it down to the point where it's going to um, be the best position for the oven. I've let the oven preheat a little bit and it's almost up to 250, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my food in, unlatch the door, open it, and notice I have sunglasses on, that's for a reason, because I'm in front of the oven and I don't want any reflective glare up in my eyes. So I'm putting a thin metal granite ware pan that's black with a black lid to absorb the light and convert it to heat energy. I'm going to close the oven door tight and now I just let my food cook in the sun. After about a half hour I'll come out and check the alignment of my oven and I'm going to use the uh, alignment tool that is in the bottom corner of the door and you can see a shadow perfectly in the center when it's aligned. So using that I'm going to move the oven just slightly and I can even move it a little bit ahead because I know the sun's going to continue to come and this will give me another good half hour of cooking time before I have to come out and check again. About an hour and 15 minutes ago we put a chocolate, vegan chocolate cake into the uh, sun oven so we're gonna take it out, make sure it's done, unlatch it, open the door, oh looks done, looks great. Let's check it with the knife, yup, we're good to go. Okay, let me take this out and I want to show you a little trick that I use because Ohio isn't always the best place for solar cooking, um, but you can solar cook very successfully. So to maximize my heat, I, you can see that I have a pan, glass cake pan, inside the black uh, cooking pan. So for me, that just gives me a double layer of insulation, more black surface to absorb uh, the sun's rays. And I've been very successful uh, baking um, with this setup uh, in this oven and a number of other panel ovens. This is how I disassemble my oven for storage. Obviously, you're going to use pot holders. This oven was up above 350. So I take my rack off and I just leave it there. Close my door. I latch it. And then from behind, I'm going to bring the um, reflectors up and then lay them down. And there we go. Snap it. And then I'm going to lower the leg. Oh. 
and it's ready to be stored. I would typically let this cool off a little bit more uh, before I put it away, but I wanted to show you how it does go back together. And you can carry it by the handle and put it wherever you store your oven. We hope you have great success with the All-American Sun Oven. And if you'd like additional information, uh, the manufacturer also has an instructional video posted on the library website. Thank you. Bye-bye.